from this. We've got a remote root tube. Out of the way, dude. Anyway, we've got a remote root tube. Tonight. So, YouTubers, and you can see tonight we've had an epic beer night. We were getting ready on number six. And our first beer tonight was Heavy Seas. And it's Davy Jones Bono, which is an Imperial Cream Ale. This beer is kind of interesting because when they make it, the lager is up at the top, the yeast is top fermented first, and then they bring it down and it becomes a lager yeast, so like Davy Jones Locker. Yeah, and Davy Jones is monkey, eh? Yeah, something like that. So we got 7% here. What do you think of this beer, John? Oh, I thought it was very nice, uh, very refreshing. Uh, <laughs> Don't get married to a Mexican brother. It can be challenging at times. Uh, no, yeah. very, very good. Uh, it's something that I could drink again, and uh, I, I probably will. A lot of. Uh, a lot of. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, anyways, Clipper City Brewing, Heavy Seas. That's kind of one of our local breweries. You know, I'm a big proponent of drinking Ballmer. local in Balmer Hunt. Um, John's a transplant of Marylandar, but now in Virgin Land. Anyway. Um, try it. It's a really accessible beer, and it's pretty cheap, $5.99 a bottle. Anyways, give it a try. Tropical notes, um, a lot of longer characteristics. Next up, we've got Omegang GPA, which is a Belgian pale ale. This beer is pretty cool. The head on the core is gigantic. you got about four fingers. Large. I mean, you put it in a pilsner glass, and the head fills up the entire glass. Um, so if you like some head, you'll like this beer. Um, I like beer head. Beer head, yeah. I like all head. Anyways, um, we're at 6.2% alcohol by volume on this one. And when it pours, it's a, you know, you get, the, you know, right off the bat, you get a nice strong yellow color with a pillowy white head. And a lot of active bubbles under the surface. And really, really long, you know, retention on the head. Excellent glass lacing. And then for the aroma, I don't know what you think. We got, I mean, huge waft of pineapple off of this beer. Um, you get apple, you get that yeast going on, you get a slight citrus scent. It's got the pale ale characteristics, but you got that Belgian twist to it. It's lighter because of the candy sugar in there, and you have the yeast in the bottom. So, makes it a little bit different adventure. All in all, it's a good beer. I try it again, but I go out and seek it out. No, but if it was there, I'd drink it. What do you think? Exactly. My, my words, exactly. It, it's, it was a uh, well, very tickly in the mouth, but, you know, uh, taste-wise, I, I, I found it was not as smooth, uh, especially comparing it when I had the heavy seas here, the Davy Jones, before it was a little more tingly, a little more bitterness at the end. But, again, I could drink it again, but it's not something I'm going to go and see. Good. Next up the bat, we've got our friend Nugget Nectar from Trobe Brewery up in Pennsylvania. Um, this is their one of their big beers. They they call it an um, amber ale, but really it's a double IPA. It's seven and a half percent, so it's not fully double IPA worthy, but it's seven and a half percent just the same. Um, you got an amber orange color with a nice about like finger finger and a half head built on it when you when you pour it. You got hop haze to it, so it's it's a it's a really nice beer. Um, all in all, it's got pine notes, citrus, pineapple, tropical fruits going on all at once, and you have the caramel in the background with the caramel malts and everything that they put into it. Um, what do you what do you think of the the mouth feel? Oh, very very nice. It was uh, for an IPA, not being overall IPA fan, but growing to be one. Uh, we'll be a hop head soon. Guys. Yeah, I will be it's a very hop head. Uh, it was very nice. I could go out and get this again. Uh, nice smell. Nice aroma. Just world. come to my house. Yeah. And yeah. The sex. He's taking off it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's it, very good. You know, I, I would definitely uh, find my way up Route 15 to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Hershey Park, Hershey area, and uh, go ahead and you know order this. Right out of the brewery, if I could. Get some nugget nectar and chocolate. Yeah, just be careful of the mineral resources in your nose, eh? Exactly. <laughs> Don't like those nuggets. So, so all in all, I'd give this one a, a 9 out of a 10. It's not a full double IPA, but it's got a, it's a real great representation of the style. And, 
you know, I've had a lot of IPAs. I've had Pliny out in California and other beers, and this is right up there with them. It's not a full-blown, you know, double IPA. You know, that big citrus punch in the face um, uh, grapefruit action. But um, if you're not a full hop head yet, like my buddy John here, it's for you, probably. Would you say? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. I don't think I could. I don't think it's a session beer. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not start out later, but why not? I could have it with pizza. Exactly. Okay, next up, we've got another Omegang beer, and this one's Hen Pen. Now, Hen Pen is a size on ale. It's got all that size on characteristics. It's got a, it's got haziness. It's got the sour size on sour taste. And um, it's a it's a fairly strong beer. It's a 7.7%, so it's not something you want to go drive on. But um, all in all, we poured it. This is like all the other Omegang beers. They've got that Belgian carbonation to them, because that's their model. That's what they're pushing for. And they're also part of Duval. So they've got that education going on. You get a really strong three-finger head on this. Excellent lacing. Cut at 7.7, you get a bit of alcohol legs. And, you know, you, it's... The color is probably a straw to a dark straw hay color to the beer. It's not going to have the orange characteristics like a, like the pale ale does, but good overall. Um, the scent, you get yeast, you get rank tropical fruit, pineapple. What else is in there? That asked me to remember like two beers ago. That's Come on! <laughs> Good step up! Here's the note. <laughs> Yeah, uh, tropical fruit day. Uh, <laughs> right, definitely a right thing. Uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you get a bit of sweetness to it. The body, bit, I'd say it's medium body. Yes. You, you, and also with the flavor too, the important note is you, you get that size on like sour bite to it. The size on that's what the sour. That's the, what the meaning of the word is. So you know you get a good mouthfeel. You get a good coating in the mouth when you pull by back. But that medium carbonation, a little sour bitterness, cleans your palate and kind of makes you want more. We had it with dinner and some pretty spicy food, and I think it held up pretty well yeah. overall with the spicy food. Clear palate on uh, some ghost chili peppers. And yeah, which <laughs> it didn't, didn't erase the ghost chili peppers, no, but it, yeah. it was okay. I'll we'll take care of it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, in comparison, we had, you know, with, uh, it's on with uh, the heavy seas, and we thought this was a little better than the heavy seas brand as well. Mm-hmm. So, all in all, I tried again, like the other Omegang we had tonight. I don't know if I'd seek it out, but I'd drink it if it was there. So, upside as long as I've had, it's pretty good. It's not not the best, but it is good. So, there's your Omegang. Pen pen. So, next up was one that my buddy John bought because it had floaties in the bottle and it has massive yeast coating on the bottom of it. And a rabbit on the label. Yeah, it's a rabbit also, so we like bunnies. You don't want to kill a rabbit. Do not kill it. Killing a rabbit could be bad. Looks like they have an Irish mess on. Anyways, um, this is a uh, uh, Boston, Belgian. The brewery is Browery de Dole Boers, DDB 8600, which is what they go by. Um, this beer is a strong beer, 10%. However, when you guys drink this, you can't tell the 10%. It's, it's totally masked. You like wine? It's like a what, nice white recently. A uh, little bit of dryness, aftertaste. Uh, you don't smell the alcohol you know, right on the nose. It, it's, it's very smooth. A lot of floaties in it, though. Definitely. Yes. Ooh. If you have Midas Touch, it's a lot like Midas Touch, but it doesn't have that honey, honey sweetness that Midas Touch has, and it's not filtered. There's all kinds of floaties, like John said, in the bottom. And it's really cloudy beer, real aggressive yeast in the bottom of this. They really took the bottom of this bottle. And you could, since it's 10 percent, you could sell over this beer for a good long while and you know, put a couple of years on it, and it, it would be even smoother, like a nice white wine at over age. It would, you could get some good age with time on this one. It's got a dry feel after you drink it. Um, wipes the palate with dryness, like a, like a white wine or riesling does. You know, all in all. You know, you get a, a dark straw color, a hazy amber. When you drink it, it kind of tastes that hazy, dry, wiping your palate taste. So, give it a try. It's a more pricey beer. You know, one bottle of this is six ninety nine, seven bucks somewhere around in Maryland, Virginia area. But you know, it's worth a try. And it's ten percent, so that's the equivalent of three of your normal macro groups. So, back to the buck. Now, 
last beer of the night. This is the top rated Doppler block in the world. This is an Onion or Celebrate Bar. Um, it's like a Happy Meal. It comes with a toy. You get your, <laughs> you get your little coat with it. You can make a necklace or something like that. But we're actually going to pop this one and pull it and drink it. So we've got our yummy mm, yeah. land shark lager bottle opener. Buffett. That's the only thing good about Buffett. Exactly. Oh, no, wait. Buffett songs are, you know, not the beer. Yes, exactly. So we're going to pour this one. Rich, dark color on this. As you can see, we're pouring this into a pint glass. Really good khaki off-white hand. Head, head, head development. Head. Well, yeah, and whatever. So we don't want to waste any of that. Put this in the uh, lineup. So we've got a yeah. solid two and a half, three finger head on this. Put it up to the light. There's no, almost no light hitting through this. You got a bit of ruby yeah. color. It's like really heavy Coca-Cola with that khaki head. Bubbles are super tight on it. Give it the nose. Chocolate, caramel, sweet goodness. No alcohol smell to it at all. Not a hint of bitterness. My allergy day. Sometimes it's like can't smell anything. Just a, a lovely beer. So we'll give this one a try. Yeah, that's sweet. Caramel, malty goodness, very slight hoppy bitterness in the background to cleanse your palate, but it really leaves you wanting for more when you drink this beer. You can see we have excellent head retention even after I drank the beer. And man, I can see why it's number one. This is a real representation of what the Doppelbach style should be. It's a real strong beer. It's got that medium mouth feel to it. There's other Doppel boxes that are higher in alcohol content than this one. This one's 6.7%. There's some 7 and 8 percenters out there, your Paul Langers and your Hocker Pashores. But they, they don't equal up to the taste and the mouth feel and the total presentation of this beer. And they don't give you toys with it. So you can make a that necklace. Meal, eh? Exactly. You can have your jewelry and, and drink it too. But I mean this is a this is this beer is a ten out of ten for me when it comes to the Doppelbach style. Very good. I'm a Doppelbach head, that's my favorite style of beer, being a German by heritage, but man, this this is just a lovely beer. What do you think, John? Very, very smooth. Nice uh, nice on the palate. Uh, goes great with I, I think a nice steak. Would, uh -huh. would be very good with that right now. Yeah. Unfortunately I don't have any. Um, no, we've already eaten but oh well. But, yeah. Uh, but no, I, I would definitely have to say this is right on spot on with the taste and uh, aroma. I, I, I definitely drink this again many more times. Well, guys, thanks for joining us for to on DJ Brew Tube tonight. Me and my buddy John, you'll see him back for many installations. Okay. But. More epic beer nights. More epic beer nights. Yes, we'll we'll do the lineup just like tonight. And um, remember, life's pretty short. Support your local breweries. They're who's, who's making this change in these microbrews and giving us good beer, so we don't have to drink fizzy piss water anymore. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. Salute.